Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. It gives me great pleasure and is a distinct sense of privilege to be able to address you here on this historic, momentous, and wonderful occasion of laying the bricks, the ground, the blessings, if you will, for the house of one in Berlin. I recall when this idea was first raised at least two years ago now, or at least I first became aware of this idea and this initiative. And I was gifted by a small brick right here, um, which I understand is actually supposed to be part of the foundation for the House of One. This is now in my office here in Religions for Peace. And it's a small brick that means a great deal, spiritually, morally, and in every way that is valuable. Because it is an idea that I believe is remarkably necessary and is a tipping point for the way that we will live together as humanity. I hope that in a few years time, the House of One would also expand to the other faiths around the world. That there would be one temple in which all of us, regardless of how we look and where we are and what we come from and what religion we're born into or what faith we choose or whatever non-faith we have, can actually come together and worship and reflect together on the beauty of the divine in each one of us that we can only see and only serve when we serve one another. Indeed, that is the basis and the principles of Religions for Peace, the organization that I am privileged and honored to serve. It is the principle that the House of One also stands for, and that is that our planet is that temple in which all of us are meant to worship the divine through serving one another. I will not know myself till I see myself in the eyes of the other. I will not know the divine until I love the divine in the other. And that I believe is the way to be able to live like better human beings on our planet to honor the resources that the divine has gifted us with this beautiful planet, and to be able to appreciate that in coming together as people of God, children of God, we are in fact realizing the will of God. I speak as a Muslim who believes very much in all the three Abrahamic faith traditions, but I also speak as a woman who believes that the very blades of grass, the very oxygen that we breathe is a constant reminder of the divine. And I believe that the house of one will enable us to come together in memory, in living memory, in honoring the divine that exists within the three Abrahamic traditions and beyond. So I toast you, so to speak, with this I congratulate you on the effort to do something truly remarkable for all of humanity. And I pray that the House of One lives to its very basic principles and foundations and realizes them. And I also pray that tomorrow, not necessarily tomorrow in 24 hours, but the tomorrow that our young people will live to see will be one in which the House of One is not just one, but many each the house of one. Thank you for this opportunity to address you and many, many blessings and prayers to each and all of you. Thank you, house of one.